people with diabetes, the goal is to normalize blood sugar levels. For all with type 1, and for some with type 2 diabetes, they will require insulin. Many different elements can affect your blood sugar levels, such as diet, physical activity, emotions, hormones, or if you're feeling unwell. For people with diabetes, regular testing of your blood sugar levels will help you and your healthcare team know if you're taking the appropriate dose of your diabetes medication to reach your glycemic target and to adapt your medication dose if required. When your blood sugar levels drop below 70 mg per deciliter, there will usually be symptoms of hyperglycemia. The symptoms of hyperglycemia are specific to each person, but they can include sweating, looking pale, trembling, a feeling of weakness, feeling hungry, mood changes such as sadness or aggressiveness, blurred vision, confusion. Hyperglycemia can occur when the balance of your diabetes medication you take, the food you eat, and the level of physical activity you do sometimes isn't right. Hyperglycemia must be treated straight away by stopping any activity and eating or drinking some fast-acting carbohydrates. It's advised to take 15 to 20 grams of fast-acting carbohydrates that will be able to pass quickly into the bloodstream. This could be three glucose tablets, or a carton of fruit juice, or a small 15 centiliter can of non-light soda, or one tablespoon of jam, or a fruit paste. You should then check your blood glucose levels again. Within approximately 10 minutes, the symptoms of a treated hypoglycemia should begin to pass. If it doesn't pass, check the blood sugar level and if necessary, take some more fast-acting carbohydrates. If the hyperglycemia persists, or if you're feeling too drowsy or confused to eat or drink, then ask someone to help you. If you have glucagon prescribed, use it as instructed by your diabetes team. If the situation still does not improve, contact the emergency services as soon as possible to avoid any risk of coma. Hyperglycemia is defined by diabetes criteria for blood sugars levels above 126 mg per deciliter, fasted or before a meal, and above 200 mg per deciliter, two hours after a meal. For continuous glucose measurements, CGM, glucose over 180 mg per deciliter is considered above target. If your blood sugar levels are slightly higher than normal, you will not usually experience any symptoms. Hence, it's so important to check your blood sugar level regularly. Characteristic signs of hyperglycemia may appear, such as passing more urine than normal, especially at night, thirst, headaches and tiredness or lethargy, blurred vision and unintentional weight loss. Some examples of why your blood sugar levels may be too high. You may have eaten more carbohydrates than usual, missing a dose of your insulin or other diabetes medication, a decrease in physical activity, strong emotions such as stress, or an infection. Occasional mild hyperglycemia is not usually a cause for concern. If you use insulin, you may need to adjust your dose. You should follow the advice of your healthcare team about this. You may also be advised to change your diet and exercise more often. However, any time your blood sugar level is above 240 mg per deciliter, your ketones should be checked with urine strips or a suitable device. The presence of ketones in blood and urine means a lack of insulin. If hyperglycemia and or ketones persist, contact your diabetes care team or if you're unable to reach your diabetes care team, then contact the emergency services. To be prepared for any situation, always bring glucose, test your blood sugar regularly, and if you need insulin, always have your medication with you. Keep a record of your blood sugar levels to share with your healthcare team to assist in adjusting your medication, including insulin, and to help you reach your glycemic target which may help physical and mental well-being each day while helping to avoid or mitigate the long-term complications of diabetes. 
For people with diabetes, this will help them keep their blood sugar and diabetes under control so they can live their lives to the fullest.